The Bernina 570 Quilters Edition has overlock stitches, especially for those of us that might not have a serger. Now, what are we talking about? We're talking about ways to prevent fabrics from unraveling. And the stitch that we use on this machine is stitch number three. It also recommends that you use foot 2A, and 2A is like a foot with just one toe, but there's something really special in it. See that little pin in there? That pin is going to help support the stitch as it jumps over the edge of the fabric. So if you've ever sewed on fabric and you're trying to zigzag over it or something, and the fabric just curls and so it's not flat anymore, it's because you were just using a standard presser foot. An overlock foot is designed to prevent the fabric from curling. So as we put this on, so we'll just go ahead and switch the feet out here. This foot also will be easily guided down the edge of your fabric. I rarely actually change the settings that are preset for stitch number three, our overlock stitch, because it just comes out perfect so many times for most of the fabrics that I'm working on. Now, remember, if you go into the home and go into the creative consultant, Choose the fabric that you're working on. Remember, you've got the question mark if you're unsure which one is which. So if I had lightweight knit fabric, for example, to choose, and I chose the overlock setting, you might see that things adjust, like the pressure, so it doesn't get stretched out, and the tension also changed as well. If I clear that out and go back in, this fabric's a little bit heavier, so let's just see what it chooses for a heavy woven with the overlock stitch, and ah, it actually went back to a zigzag. That's interesting, with the pressure super reduced. But I am gonna use this stitch because I love the way that it actually is done. As I pick the other stitch, it does remember the pressure adjustment that it, it changed it to, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. That's why the Creative Consultant is so smart. It's like having your own little private sewing tutorial person in there, picking the settings that is right for the fabric, especially if it's fabrics that you're not used to using. As you get ready to stitch, you wanna pretty much line up the little pin right along the edge of the fabric. So a good place to start is a piece of test fabric like this is, so you could actually make sure that you know where to guide it. Now, as I stepped on the foot control, I have a little message that came up on the screen. So it's wanting me to identify that I have actually put on foot uh, 2C. So I do need to come into the foot presser, foot selection area, touch 2A, and that's always the one. The ones with the stars are approved for this stitch, and then it can go ahead and allow me to stitch this uh, perfectly. So I want you to see that when the stitch goes off the edge of the fabric, which is the goal, it kind of jumps into air, it's being supported by the pin in the foot. So as you see it stitch all the way down, I'm gonna just show you what it's gonna look like. Oh yes, and I've got some variegated thread in here too, so that's gonna look a little bit fun. But now these edges that are slightly unraveled now won't unravel any further. So this is a great stitch. You can do it on two layers after you've sewn your seam together and just kind of overlock the edges. You could go around all your sides of your pieces before you start stitching them together. Now, for those of you with sergers, I'm gonna just identify something for you. I'm gonna sew full speed and you're gonna notice full speed it takes a bit to get down the edge. So you're already noticing how much faster your serger works in conjunction, in, in difference from a sewing machine. But if you don't have a serger yet, this is a great stitch for you to use. But a serger definitely speeds up the operation and of course overlocks and seams all at the same time. So try out, there's other stitches on this machine. Anything that kind of jumps over to the right, you can guide it to jump over the edge and totally contain the edge of the fabric from unraveling any further.